In this module, we're going to be providing details about session hijacking, well-known techniques employed by aggressors, the steps involved in session hijacking, various types of session hijacking, and tools used for hacking or hijacking sessions. Now, we're also going to talk about how we may protect ourselves from session hijacking attacks. We're also going to give you an overview of how penetration testing can be used to identify vulnerability. A man in the middle attack is very interesting. The intruder gets in between a valid session and decides what to do. The data packet exchanges possibly happen through him. The attacker would split the connection between two parties into two halves. One between the victim and him or her and the other between him, her, and the host. These parties don't know that the packets are going through a different party. The attacker can snoop the data, intercept messages, and inject malicious data. Now in the main interface of Zap, we're going to select Tools, and we're going to click Options. Now then we're going to select Dynamic SSL Certificates, and click Generate to generate a certificate. And then we'll click Save. Now if the certificate already exists, we're going to replace it with the new one. Now, an attacker can get the session ID information by misleading the user into browsing another site. Mm -hmm. When this happens, the attacker can exploit the information before the session expires. The attacker can employ techniques such as DNS poisoning, cross-site scripting, and bug exploitation in the browser. Mm -hmm.